Hi guys! So as you've seen from our latest video, it was my birthday not long ago. Um, I had the best birthday. It was my first birthday being Mrs. And it was so good. It was just really nice to spend time with my brother, whose birthday was also, I'm a twin. Um, to spend time with friends and family and I'm so thankful for everyone that got me something or wished me happy birthday but what I thought I'd show you now is a bit of a different video from me and Pete as you can see there's no Pete it's just me and I thought I would do a haul of what I got for my birthday these are videos I really enjoy watching on YouTube so I thought I would do one myself just Try it out, do something different, so let's get started. So, to start off with, um, it wouldn't be a birthday haul for me without anything Disney. One of my friends got me this lovely Minnie and Mickey money box. So, this is what we're going to use for saving up for when we go to Florida in August for our honeymoon. And it's so cute, it says be mine on the back. And there's already some money in there to start saving. She also got me this gorgeous um, Beauty and the Beast keyring, which has Ben and the Beast, it has the roses, and has the castle on the back. So I've not put this on any keys yet because I've um, started driving lessons. So I'm saving this to put on keys of my car when I ever pass and ever get them. The next thing I got, which is something I bought myself, going with the Disney theme, is this amazing mini mug. And actually, it looks like a pain, but it's not that hard to drink out of, as long as you maybe stick to the back. But how lovely is she? And it's a really good size mug, you can get an amazing cup of tea in this. Me and Pete collect pops, so every time it's a birthday or Christmas or... Valentine's Day, anniversaries, anything like that, one thing we'll always get each other is a pop. And it's really surprising that I haven't got this one already, but Pete got me my main man, Harry. So, I can't believe we didn't actually have a Harry Potter pop already, so Pete got me a Harry Potter pop. And then my brother got me another Harry Potter pop, but this one came with part of the Hogwarts Express, which bit of a nerdy present but it is just so cool I've got a bath bomb on it because I dropped a bath bomb so there we go he got me oh yeah he got me Harry on the Hogwarts expert other things that I'll be showing you now are things that I bought myself so first things first is I went to Lush and right now this room smells amazing because of these so I've never really tried bath bombs before I know so I thought I'd jump on the hype. So, with the Beatles being one of my favourite bands, I couldn't leave the store without the yellow submarine bath bomb. Oh, and it smells so good. It smells so fresh. This one I chose because of the pretty colours and the glitter. And it's the intergalactic one. And I just know this is going to look absolutely amazing in the bath. Again, it just, oh, that just smells so good. Mmm. Oh, I can't wait to have a bath with this. What is a haul without anything from Primark? So, I didn't spend as much as I thought I would in Primark, but it still did some damage. So, first, I got this Harry Potter top. It says, Dobby is a free elf. And I just thought it would be a really cute pyjama top. I love Dobby. Still have feelings over that bit in the book. Next then, I thought I could wear these with the top, are these amazing leopard print pyjama bottoms. They're um, long, quite baggy and so comfortable. Just amazing for lounging around the house and as well if you've got a day where you're not doing anything. Now the next thing is normal for a lot of people but a bit of a big thing to me. I am normally a dress and skirts type of girl. I very rarely wear trousers. That is until clots can love them. So because I have started dipping in more to wearing trousers and stuff, I decided to actually get some jeans. I haven't owned jeans since I was about 19. 
I decided to start cheap with some from Primark. So I got these just blue denim. They're quite soft, got a bit of stretch. So I got them in blue and then also got them in black, which I don't know if you can see, but I'm wearing today. And actually, comfortable. Might buy more. We'll see. Next, I got this amazing velvet feel top. So it's in a really nice dusty pink you know would probably look nice with either of the pair of jeans it's quite casual but it's something that if I was going out it could quite easily be dressed up with a nice skirt or something as well and then because it is getting to winter I could not have left without getting a jumper so this is an amazing mustard I'm just loving mustard at the minute an amazing mustard jumper and it's got quite almost flute style sleeves and when it's on it's a bit of a high neck and it is so cozy this is going to be perfect for when it's like fairs and going to and um, bonfires and stuff it's just going to be so cozy so that was everything I got from Primark next I went to New Look and I didn't get too much in New Look I got two things so I got black t-shirt so it looks like just a plain black t-shirt but I don't know if you can see the middle is elasticated so it just kind of draws you in at the waist a little bit and just makes a plain t-shirt gives it a little bit something more um something you can probably either wear casual style up um and it was really cheap it was probably I think it was like eight pounds um just something to have in the wardrobe isn't it for days when you want to just throw something on but it's still you know have a bit of style and then next is this amazing sparkly top it's just perfect for the season that's coming up um, and it says all that glitters and it is see-through so I probably would wear like a little cami top or something underneath and I've actually still got the tag in this so I can tell you how much it was it was 12.99 so that's not bad at all um, and again I've gone for a lot of things that you can probably wear up or down depending on what you're doing so um and it's not because it is sparkly I was worried that it was going to be quite scratchy but the inside a bit against your skin isn't so yeah we'll be wearing that all over Christmas season I went on ASOS now anyone that knows me knows ASOS is my thing I am obsessed with ASOS I am constantly going on the app and seeing what's new um so of course I was going to buy stuff from ASOS. So the first thing I got is the most amazing jumper. Amazing, just pink jumper. The shade of pink is gorgeous. But then it has got these amazing sleeves. How amazing are these sleeves? I am going to annoy everyone wearing this top because I'm just going to be doing this all the time. Um, I'm just obsessed. How good is this? I love it. Um, I don't know if many other people will, but I just saw it and knew I had to have it. So it's from Pretty Little Thing, and it was, I think it was £38. I've got it in a large because I did want to wear it a bit baggy. Love it. Um, the next thing I bought were these amazing boots from ASOS. So they're just black ankle boots but then to make them a bit different on the back the heel they've got this amazing star design lots of glitter and then some little bit of stars and I just think these are just oh just amazing I love them can't wait to wear these out I've not worn them yet because I don't think it's quite cold enough yet I'm going out tonight though so maybe tonight and then the last thing from ASOS was actually something Pete bought me and oh my god the boy did good and it was this fur coat it was from ASOS but it's monkey and oh my god oh it is just the best coat in the world Bert Lynch is my style icon so this I've wanted one of these for years and Pete delivered he did so well I don't know if it's because it was, I don't know, after my first birthday as us being married, but he did 
so well. So he got me this, he got me the pop, and then he um, printed off the whole website from a local salon, and on every page wrote, treat yourself, because we love Parks and Rec, it's one of our favourite shows, and he basically said to me, for my birthday, he was giving me a treat yourself day. So I was able to book whatever I wanted at the spa within limits obviously not like everything so I had a pamper hour which included a massage and a facial and then I had a pedicure um, and then we went into town and bought all these things that I've just shown you we went shopping and he took me for a nice meal treat yourself day it was amazing and he has now set himself a president for every other year sorry for you but you did so good <laughs> Um, oh, I forgot. The last thing I bought, which I'm wearing, is these sliders. I know, basic, right? They are pink and fluffy, and I don't know what else you would want. They're amazing, and they are so comfy. I've not worn them out of the house. I'm just kind of wearing them as slippers around the house, and if I'm just nipping out, you know, to the bins or anything. But, yeah, that was everything I got for my birthday slash shopping haul from my Treat Yourself Day. Like I said, this was a different kind of video from us, so if you liked it, please let us know, and if you'd like any more like this, I'm sure I can do some more shopping. <laughs> any excuse. So please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you all later. Bye! Bye.